today's book is Panchatantra. Panchatantra is not only one story in this book. Panchatantra is, it has lots of stories in one book. So today's story is going to be The Mice and the Elephants. So The Mice and the Elephants is right here. I'm sorry I got stickers all over here for some reason. So, Timeless Tales of from Panchatantra. So here's the table of contents. The Mice and the Elephants is today's book. I mean today's story. Once upon a time, there lived a group of mice under a big tree in a forest. They were thousands of mice in that group. They used to live happily together and were headed by a king mouse. The king was very kind and helpful to the others. He would tell his fellow mice to always be kind. One day, a big group of elephants came near the tree. They were searching for water. As they were thirsty and tired, in such a condition, they did not notice the mice living under the tree and destroyed their homes by accident. Some of the mice were also crushed under their feet and wound it. The others started running. So, look, here is one mice, here's the other, and here's the other as well that's been crushed. They pleaded their king, oh wise king, save us from these mad elephants, otherwise they will destroy our homes, they will kill all of us. The king assured his fellow mice, do not worry my dear friends, nothing will happen. So assured means you say, sure, I'll tell them, something like that, okay? Then he approached the chief of the elephant's group. Instead of showing anger, he politely requested the mighty chief, Sir, kindly guide your group from some other route and spare our homes and lives. The chief of elephants was kind and he understood the plight of the my little mice, he said, I am really sorry, my dear friend. We did not notice your group living here. We did not notice your, I mean, we were thirsty and looking for water. The king of mice told him our route where they can find water. The elephants apologized to the mice and moved towards the other route. The king of mice said, look friends, we are saved and we learned a lesson today that with kind words, we can win over any bad situation. One day, some elephant hunters came to the forest and trapped all the elephants in a huge net. The elephant had lost all hope of escaping and thought that nobody could save their lives now. The chief of the elephants suddenly thought of the group of mice. They would be able to chew through these nets. Since he was trapped in the net, the chief called out to a bird who was flying past. He asked the bird to approach the king of mice and tell him about the situation. The bird quickly flew to the big tree and told the king of mice about the danger that the elephants faced. Should all go and help them, for we were kind to us. I mean, they are saying, for they were kind to us. Within a few minutes, thousands of mice reached there 
and chewed through all the nuts. With the help of their sharp teeth and the sweat of the elephant's tree, the elephants thank the mice again and again, and from that day onwards, they all lived happily together in the forest. So that's the end. And so today, the next book is going to be The Horse and the Lion. So.